All right, guys, we just pulled up to our first Goodwill. I only have a couple free hours today, but we're gonna go see if we can find some profitable items to flip on eBay, so let's go. Okay, since my eight-year-old is kitty obsessed, I think I have to get this cute little stone kitten. You guys could feel this, this is like super heavy. Polka dotted, two ninety nine. How cute is that little guy? She'll be happy. It looks like we found our first pickup for actual resale purposes. This little Mickey, LED shadow lights thing is new. It's priced at $6.99. And it looks like the last sold comps are about $28 to like $30. So for six bucks, well, seven bucks, and considering it's new and super easy to ship, I think we'll go ahead and take that. I don't know if I can beat the crazy hat from the last one, but check out that bad baby. It's losing some bling. It's losing some bling. Is this clean enough to put on my head? Okay, it looks pretty clean has the original tags and it was 58 bucks oh geez <laughs> oh my gosh i gotta get this off so i've definitely been to this goodwill one too many times this week i found one lousy item for resale and that little old disney light and then that kitty cat for my kiddo but it's okay the day is young is that snowflakes listen it was 76 degrees yesterday and there was just there's flurries right now you guys probably can't see them because they're tiny but this kentucky weather is ridiculous all right goodwill number two let's hope you're good to me today so right in the door i got this little no, ticket no, i guess no, in like eight minutes they're drawing like gift card winners so if they call this number then i'm going to win a five dollar gift card so there's that but i did just find two cool things really quick so if you guys can automatically see how big this is it's like as big as the bottom of this cart this is a holiday creations obviously it's a santa is he missing some? Oh, it's just, this is his pipe that fell out of his hand. Okay, so that could just be glued back on. But look at his little faux stained glass lamp. And it looks like his little fireplace, or actually, that's a record player, isn't it? It's hard to see. I had to be kind of quick because there was another two people right behind me. But this is a cassette player hidden in that little record player there. Pretty cool. The only thing I see wrong with it is this little peeling thing and then his pipe that needs to be re-glued. Okay, some people were coming both directions last way and there's not enough room to squeeze by, but this is the other little holiday creation Santa. And he plays piano music. This takes batteries on the bottom. The big one is $7.99 and this one is only $3.99. I haven't looked up comps for these, but I have sold quite a few of these holiday creation things in the past. So for those prices, I don't even think I'm gonna look them up until I get out of the store. Now, sometimes I do resell turbuses, but I also really like them for my house. So this fishing one, I think I'm gonna add to my collection. But how cute is this one right here with the goldfish and the little bubbles at the bottom? I'm gonna take that one too, and there's one more. So Kinsley has been wanting one of this style that has like the little water bottle style lid at the top. And this one is covered with butterflies. These two are $1.59 and this one's 99 cents. So I'm gonna take all three of those for personal use. Winner of a $5 gift certificate goes to 144920. Oh, it's not me. Well, well. I think we'll survive. The next number is 144890. Oh, we were so close one number off. The last person had already left the store, so they redid it. Wasn't us. But hang on. I got to go Rambo for one second. If I can get this untangled, bear with me. It's just what I need to complete my fit. And it makes some good music too. <laughs> oh jeez, can you guys tell me the extra good week today? I'm upset, I thought I found a good one on this little vintage coach backpack purse, but $59.99. How tragic is that? Major bummer. Even this one priced at 40 bucks. This Goodwill is super busy. Everywhere I go, there's like a ton of people, so I'm filming the best I can, but I'm fully aware that it's not the best in the world today so far. But like, I can't even get through to like, look at the purses. There's a table and all the people up there. So, doing the best I can, guys. Hello, they're doing another job. And drawing. the winner is 144889. Okay, so recap of Goodwill number two. We've got these two holiday creations. Santa thingamajiggers three. Awesome little turvises for it home. The whole cart will be less than the retail for one single turvis, so can't go wrong there. Okay, you guys, I don't know what just happened, but I was turning in to go to the pharmacy and I saw a sign for a garage sale. Now, again, it was like 76 degrees yesterday, so I thought maybe it was just for yesterday, but I just turned into this beautiful little house and they actually have garage doors open over here. 
I don't have my GoPro, so I don't know how I'm going to actually film this at all. But there is a garage sale in those doors. First garage sale of 2023. Okay, this is five bucks. This is a nice North Face backpack. I want to say I've sold this same exact style before. I could be wrong, but I think I have. Either way, for five bucks. First yard sale pickup of the year. Yes, please. Oh, those chairs are nice. Dang. Too bad those are sold. I tell you what, it is cold. Okay, there's a lot of good like book sets here. I'm gonna have to use my phone to run some comps really quick. Burr, holy burr. Okay, so I only picked up the backpack, but still, that's a complete bonus score having a yard sale when I wasn't expecting any at all. I'm freezing and I'm still really happy just the idea that yard sales are this close like literally right around the corner has me so thrilled and we still have time to hit a couple more thrift stores before I have to pick up my little one from school. Now if that doesn't make a whole video then I'll be ending this with an estate sale and I guess maybe I'll put a little memo right now saying yes estate sale no estate sale so you guys know if it's coming oh gosh or not so i just looked up this backpack to be sure it was what i was thinking of and this borealis is the same one that i have sold in the past now there are two comps for this exact backpack in black and one sold for 49.99 and the other was a best offer on 60 bucks so a really nice quick pickup for five dollars and it's in really great condition now let's head on to the next thrift store and see what else we can add to our collection too bad i didn't stumble across any other accidental yard sales for the day I think this is going to be the last Goodwill that I have time for. So let's hope we can find something else. This Pyrex is priced at $2.99. This is like a really hard to find like gooseberry pattern in this light pink. It's super dirty though. Like I'm curious how well this would clean up. Like with the lid, even though this is only like a one pint container, it sells for like $50. Without the lid, the last one sold for $30. It honestly just looks like drips because you can see the bright pink under there. Should I get it and try to clean it up? That is the question. Because it could literally just be dirt on the outside. For turning it on, hmm, I think I might, I think I might just do it. Okay, I've officially been to these thrift stores too many times in one week, but I am happy that I got that little $2.99 Pyrex and another pair of shoes for myself. So this is all I have time for today. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. So I just pulled up to this really interesting, well, the preview had some really interesting stuff at this estate sale. Unfortunately, the sale actually started an hour and 42 minutes ago, yet there are people in line. Where it's a really small house, I'm assuming they're doing like number for number, so they'll have to wait for one person to come out and then they'll let one more person in which is really unfortunate. I was thinking that I was going to just walk in. So though it's two separate videos, I did just come from another estate sale that will be its whole own video. So that is why I'm late, just as an FYI. But this house had some really cool, creepy stuff in there. I'm assuming most of the cool stuff is already long gone, but we are still gonna go check it out and see if we can find anything cool and at least take a look. Uh, yeah, at least take a look. Yes, girl, tell us. Tell us the. 439 and 440. Yeah. Whatever it is. That's us. <laughs> Thank you. That is us. Thank you, dear. Sure. This stuff is on the outside. You go up there. Yeah. Okay. And to, you'll see a lot of Christmas okay. if you want Christmas. Okay. Thank you. Y'all know I love also Christmas. One in, had not advertised, but in Nicholasville. Oh. Today. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Eight? I hate what was it. I don't remember the. It's on your phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you sent it to me in case you're interested. Okay. What is it? Let's see. I'm going to check it out while you're looking that up. How pretty a stone cross. That is nice. It's going to show you. That is nice. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, this is the busy zone. Okay. I might go the other way first. I mean, if I ever see you ride the motorcycle, I think I might just pull out. Yeah. Okay, we got the bathroom. <gasps> you guys, I'm freezing. I had to wait outside longer at that one than I did the last one. Yeah, they have no clothes. I don't even have any skin. Yeah. This Some is a scary room in here. <laughs> Gosh, you can barely fit in anywhere in here, huh? Like oh. oh Japan. Hmm. Oh, I had the 
creepy room they were talking about. Oh, this is a creepy room. I see. This is the creepy room. Those little baby skeleton things are already gone, aren't they? Did you see him yet? I didn't see him. Okay. Yeah, I was I was curious about those guys. I figured all the creepy stuff would be the first of everything to go anyways, so I'm not surprised. I made my choice with the other estate sale and I'm okay with it. It was. Take that one for two bucks. Oh, whatever those were up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 95 bucks. Scratches. Mm. Not scratches. Mm. I've sold that to where before. Turn that on the bottom there. Oh, that's a lot of Waterford. And fits in Floyd, but in very high prices. Yikes. Too definitely a price too high. And just for perspective, this one they have prices 75 bucks and it sold for 27. I'm not even gonna bother with the rest of that. Oh, that's food. Miscellaneous, two bucks each. Okay. I'm assuming the flatware is already gone, but. Did somebody already take the flatware or was there not any here? There was, somebody took it. Okay, mm -hmm. I figured as yep. much. Okay, so this estate sale was for the most part like completely picked over and there was nothing in there for me. I even asked the lady specifically, did somebody already buy the flatware or was there none? And she said, no, somebody else purchased it. And I took my GoPro off because I was leaving. I was headed straight for the door to walk out. And what do you know, the person that had the flatware put it back. So check out what I just got for $20. Can you guys tell I'm excited? Can you tell? I'm excited. Look at this massive set of silverware, including matching serving utensils and all. Look at all this. I mean, it's not Oneida, you guys, but it is made by Springtime. It is made in Japan. And the best part is I only paid $20 for this whole thing. I cannot believe somebody seriously put this back. Like these two serving utensils would be $20 by themselves. So I don't know. Um, I have not sold this exact set before, but there is, it's, this is easily over a hundred dollars. Hopefully it's closer to like 200 bucks. I'll have to look into it and report back. Well, actually I'll put the screenshots up right now of what I have this stunning set of silverware um, listed for. So while I was in the estate sale, a couple of viewers put me on to another estate sale that was not listed. So we're going to drive to the next town over and see if there is any leftover stuff to pick up like this silverware that I just scooped up last minute at this empty estate sale. All right, this is our surprise estate sale that those sweet ladies put us up to. Let's see. Got real framey real quick. Yeah. Yes, he did. The three little frame. black pictures are the black frames right there. Yes. How about it? Are they just frames? Well, they got some little pictures inside. Oh. Eight three. Three side. Yeah. That's the thing. You just turn around all that. That's two bucks. Fifty holiday special occasion images. That's got to be worth two bucks. Trim a home, yeah. Is there stuff in the house also? Nothing in the house, but there are two buildings out back that have a lot of Christmas stuff in them. Okay. That. Sure. I got Christmas in my hand right now, so that'll work. And I can't promise you what works and what don't. Okay. Outlets in the kitchen. 
Okay, sounds good. I'm just gonna set this right here while I go I'm check out. Right here, All right. <laughs> These things are a lot of work. On the floor, I know most of those lights, if not all of them, do work. Okay. Outside, yeah, that is definitely something I do not need as more light, but thank you. the cheap we have no price on anything it's okay kind of like make your own offer and if okay. you want it make a pile and kind of okay. Pile kind okay, of okay sure <laughs> that must be an old sticker on there then oh, that had, yeah, okay probably so. I'll just, i don't know how long i'm gonna manage because i'm cold 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 today oh goodness oh two sheds so that one and that one all right guys are we gonna find anything in here that is the question Oh, geez, she hasn't got a blast in the past. Oh, these little pair of lights. Those are cool. Lots of Halloween, but it's all this newer stuff. Except that ghost might be a little older. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to like deep dive into this too much. It's really like piled in there. Hmm. Wreaths, everything looks pretty current for the most part. I'll go check the other one. Oh, it is cold. At least these little buildings, this one's gonna block the wind. You just never know what you're gonna find out here in Yardsaw land. Today has been quite an adventure. I wish I could show you guys all in one video. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wowzers. What is this? What kind of light is that? That is neat. With a base, and then you can pick it up off the base. How neat is that? Okay. You're coming home with me for sure. Wow, that's cool. Can't you guys just see that like in a man cave? It looks very car, like chromed out car. Y'all know what I'm going for. It's car-ish. It's man-ish. It's man cave-ish. Okay, let's put this right here. Dibs, my first dibs. This Christmas bags. Oh man. If you guys could only understand how cold that metal is on that chrome light. Ooh, my hands are freezing now. And then I have to stuff in all these bags. What? 1995 Toy State Industrial. Hmm. I wonder if all the rest of that is in down below. <laughs> Santa hats. Oh, there's more train stuff down in here. Oh, 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 I'm gonna lose you. Oh, there's more Christmas magic. Toy State. I should just take a second and look this up. Toy State. That one sold for $55 with tracks and what is that, like six train cars? That one little piece sold for $20. Well, with free shipping. 66 bucks for those train cars so let's just look in there and see maybe there's more than just these two train cars and then it'll be worth picking up yeah train rocking horse santa bows okay. oh, that. that's the rocking horse is this another train car Yes, it is. Merry Christmas. So that's one. This is another one. A piece we just saw that sold for 20 right there. That's two. Oh, this feels like a third one. Number three. Oh, let's have some little bears. That is a plate. So there's three there, plus the two we already up. So that is five trains total. 
just set this here and put this amazing lamp light whatever, on top. All right. Yes, I'm excited already. All right, let's see what's in this bin here. Can we get some more trains? Oh, this is like glass. Oh, we got a stein. In my experience, every stein I have ever found has not been worth anything. I don't know if it's because they're so collectible that so many people have them. I know there's good ones out there, but I have never found a good one, to be clear. What is this? Easy rotating Christmas tree stand. That kind of looks promising. Let's look at it up really quick. Okay, so it looks like this easy rotating stand last sold for 130 right there. 75. Some of these out of the box sold for 78, 80. I wonder if it works. Oh, it looks nice and big. Oh, and there's a little screws. That, that seemed like a good, like a pretty big, decent seller anyways. All right, who is this guy? Oh, that's an Animaniac. And he looks for vintage. 1988 Ace Novelty. Animaniac. I have never seen any Animaniac plushie, so I'm just going to take a chance on that guy too. I cannot keep looking stuff up or I'm going to freeze to death. Oh, hello. Hey. Christ, I didn't take it by down. Yeah. <laughs> you shit Sorry. <laughs> and I was ducked over back here. Yeah, I looked <laughs> Sorry. If you'd have started to hover and I was out of here. <laughs> now that is mine. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is mine and then this box right here is okay. mine. Everything else is. <laughs> I don't want to touch nothing. No, yeah. shit right out of my shore in my fridge. But my <laughs> wow, was that a way. I didn't think there was anybody within five miles. Yeah. So I've been out here by myself. I've been going back through everything. <laughs> That's me. I've been out here just taking my time going through it. Yeah. Being grateful to be alone after the state sales I've been to this morning. Oh, it was a pandemonium out here earlier. Oh, at this exact sale? Oh, oh yeah. I, I went to... Oh, yeah. Right, but I'm waiting on my son to call me and tell me whether they're coming up on that piano in there. Okay. I went to the two that were like by state sale companies, and they were bad houses, too. I had to stand outside forever just to get in. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That's okay, that's okay. You let me up. Skin scared to death sometimes causes people to cuss. Okay, you did scare me. <laughs> I know it, I'm sorry. I thought, boy, it just... Well, I was looking outside and I heard something. I thought, there can't be nobody inside there. They're gone. Oh, man. You know, I said, oh, mercy. Just a little on me. Well, I'm glad I'm home, but if not, I just took off running. I'd really be embarrassed. <laughs> hey, I jump really easy, so you don't have to be a bit embarrassed about me. I I seriously scare so dang easily. I don't. I'll just be honest with you. Yeah. I live alone. Uh-huh. Uh, I got a big house, and stuff really don't phase me. But boy, just then, you did. You uh. totally <laughs> I got you good today. Yes, you did. The last thing I was expecting was a young lady to pop up out of somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's sad to see stuff like this. It is. She loved her Christmas. Oh my gosh. Young lady, you know how much I had my life. You said crazy. <laughs> Did you buy a lot of Christmas stuff earlier? I bought Christmas stuff the last 40 years. Oh, yeah. And I put it out every year. Too. Oh, do you? That's yeah. awesome. I got a very decorated house. But you know what? People say, why? I said, because you only live one. Yes, that's right. I mean, I love life. Anything that brings you joy, I'm all for it. I start in November. I start putting it all out. Oh, yeah. I got a big seven-foot tree I put up. Yep. Drives at Christmas. Yes, that's and wonderful. I for a lot of families. That's wonderful. And, uh, 
We always do the Christmas angels and fill up boxes. Well, that's great. Yeah. And I try to tell people there's a lot of lonely seniors out there. That's right. A lot of yeah. A lot of what? Moody. Yeah, for sure. I'm having fun digging through this one. The other one was too cold. This one's a little better with the door there, keeping the wind out. This is all stained up. It, uh, well, you found a good one. What, my, my rotator? Huh? This? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I'll show you my favorite thing I found out here is this, it's not Christmas, but look at that lamp. That's nice. Isn't that neat? And the top comes off. And that's an older one. Yeah, you that's... plug on. Yes, sir. That's my favorite thing I dug wow. out. My hands are about too cold to keep going. I'm about to start dripping snot. I know that's too much information, but it's the truth. <laughs> That's way too much. That's way too much. Way TMI. <laughs> no, that was funny. <laughs> is it funny what we go to at sales? It is. It really is. And I've done stood outside in line twice today. I've about had enough of this cold. Stupidest day I've ever forgotten my coat, I tell you. Oh, man. Oh, that sunshine actually feels good with no wind. Let's see if I can hear you. This point. Well, it was really nice talking to you, dear. Start. Sorry, I scared the fine, the lights man. out of you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, I was in there a while. Me and another fellow were going through all the boxes in there. Yeah. So this is what I got. This thing? Did you plug it up? I did not. The, the son that lived here, he told me it don't work. I oh, don't did he? Okay. You're welcome to take it in the kitchen and try to Okay, it maybe I should. It did look new. That's why I was just going to take my chances. He said it didn't work. So let's okay. Find out. Well, but thank he, you for telling me. I really appreciate yeah, that. Take your money for nothing. Yeah. We have one just like it. So if it works, these buttons would come on and rotate. Because that should be turning. Oh, okay. So we need to throw that away again. I oh, will darn it. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. It's probably just a motor butt. I don't know. Yeah, probably just sitting there not getting used for a while. Well, the kid was right. Yeah. So sorry. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Hopefully these other ones do. I'm sure it's fine. I got two stuffed animals. This is a train. And the light and your pizza. Um, it is a little projector, a Christmas. No. Sounds great. They are cute. The dog didn't see it. He's just trying to steal everybody's stuff. He jumped up and grabbed the Tasmanian devil from a guy. Uh huh. Oh gosh. He's like, oh no, he's got a load of us again. He ain't gonna let go. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Good. Right? Good luck clearing everything out. Oh, I know I've already said it, but of all days to forget my coat, why did it have to be today? It's just now 41 degrees. And I was just digging through that shed for 37 minutes in total. So I am freezing to say the least. Now, what a successful day. Started off thrifting ended up with that one estate sale i mean the silver you cannot beat it i know the last estate sale didn't have much but the fact that we got that 20 dollars set of silverware and then to have this bonus estate sale to end the day is fantastic hopefully that chrome lamp turns out to be something really special because it looks really special either way it's super cool and what a great way to end the day i thought i was gonna have to take you guys to more thrift stores to finish up this video but we ended it today with a bonus estate sale so also shout out to the sisters at that last estate sale. Thank you guys so much for putting me on to the sale. And that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next Thursday with another video.